You can do this at home. You need to have a globe and it needs to be realistic in terms of having the tilt of the Earth on its axis. It is tilted 23 and a half degrees off of the vertical. Now, the light here in the middle is going to be our sun, all right? And I'm going to have the Earth orbit the sun just like it would in reality. Now, in reality, if you look at the Earth and the sun from above uh, toward their north poles, the Earth you know, rotates counterclockwise and it orbits the sun counterclockwise. So this is what it was like in wintertime, right? With the Earth tilted away from the sun. Now, as the Earth actually orbits around the sun, here we are today. This is on the vernal equinox. Now, notice we're still tilted 23 and a half degrees off the vertical, but now that tilt is not toward the sun or away from the sun. It's kind of side to side. So as the Earth spins on its axis at the equator, the sun is directly overhead, no matter what part of the Earth it is facing the sun. Now, what happens when we go later into the spring? Well, keeping that same tilt, but now it's oriented toward the sun. So now the North Pole has 24 hours of daylight. The South Pole is completely in the dark and we have a lot of sun hitting directly in the Northern Hemisphere. Ironically, in the middle of summer, we are farther away from the sun than we are during our winter time. A little bit of an irony there, but because we're getting so much land, getting direct sunlight, uh, and the more direct sunlight than you get any time of the year, we stay pretty, pretty hot in the summertime. Now, let's go to the other equinox. This is the autumnal equinox when we are not tilted toward the sun or away from the sun. We're tilted side to side again, but kind of the other side. And as the earth rotates, the sun will be directly overhead over the equator. When we come back around to winter time, again, tilted away from the sun. Now, what is amazing about all of this is that the earth is tilted just at the right angle to keep things from getting way too hot in the summertime and way too hot in, and way too cold in the, the winter time. Now again, you can do this at home, but you gotta remember two main things. One is you gotta have a globe that has the tilt on its axis and the earth, like it spins on its axis counterclockwise, you gotta orbit your earth around the sun counterclockwise and that way you'll keep the angle, the tilt, going the right direction. Now, Alex and Mark, what, one thing people often think is that when we go from winter, people think, well, we must be farther away from the sun during wintertime. We're just tilted in the Northern Hemisphere. We're tilted farther away from the sun, but the Earth is actually closer to the sun in the winter time in terms of the distance. It's like 91 million miles away. But then when we go through spring and into summertime, we're actually farther away from the sun, but we're tilted toward it. So there's a little bit of an oddity there. What? Mm.